Today's a little different. We're gonna be doing a double feature, so stay tuned for the second video. But this video, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna focus on this accident. It's gonna be a lane filtering incident, and what's gonna happen is this person's gonna get in his path of travel, and the motorcycle rider is gonna hit them. So now that you watched it, now you can kind of start to pick it apart and figure out what's actually happening. So this is going to be a lane filtering situation. This is one of those hazards that are associated with lane filtering, especially if you're going at a higher rate of speed than the traffic that is flowing around you. It's going to give you a lot of opportunities to get sideswiped or somebody to come into your path of travel. And there's not very many escape paths. So that's going to be the biggest thing here is that lane filtering does not give you a lot of escape paths other than deceleration or hopefully swerving in an open area. So what's going to happen here is he's going to be traveling forward at a higher rate of speed than what the traffic is. At this point, this is a good opportunity to get within this lane right here, but if you're gonna continue on to get to the front, now we have to be very aware of what's happening because remember, every little gap is an opportunity for another vehicle to move into that gap. So right here, what's happening here is as soon as this person decides to start to move that front end, and you see how I'm slowly going over, it's going over that line. This person is in our path of travel. If we just continued straight and this person stayed right there, we're gonna clip our left hand clip our left handlebar and that's going to cause us to dump it so this should be giving you that orange stage so all the way up into this point it's definitely want to be an orange stage because you're doing all the lane filtering which is going to be very dangerous and you need to be focusing on little subtle clues very rapidly but right here when it starts to travel close to that white line that should really jump start something in your brain saying hey something bad's about to happen so about right here you are definitely slowing down so what you can do is engine brake so roll off that throttle engine brake a little bit increase that space cushion increase that gap so the moment you see these red lights that should be almost to the point where oh crap something bad is going to happen you have two options right here you can swerve left around this vehicle or apply emergency braking so this is where you're going to utilize your emergency maneuvers this is in red stage now so earlier it was in orange stage orange stage you can utilize engine braking engine deceleration all that type of stuff or even just applying a little bit of brake pressure in orange stage you're not utilizing emergency maneuvers red stage you are utilizing emergency maneuvers there's a big difference if you guys want me to go over the difference between emergency maneuvers and then orange stage maneuvers let me know in the comments so you definitely want to swerve to the left or apply emergency braking in this situation but the moment you see the the head and everything transfer forward that's the moment he perceived reacted and applied and that's way too late so that means we are not focused and paying attention to what's going on in front of us and we should be doing that when we are lane filtering and especially when we're just driving around normal so right here he's going to go ahead and hit and then jump dump the bike onto the ground now if this was flowing traffic there's a good chance that you could either get your hand limb head smashed by a tire just like this so be very aware of that also any types of injuries with this is going to be up and over the gas tank so you can have bilateral femur fractures when you hit your legs on your handlebars because you're going up and over you can have some genitalia problems uh some trauma to that your pelvis uh everything you're gonna have a lot of problems with that skiers thumb i can go in depth in medical stuff if you really want me to please write in the comments Tell me what you guys want to see. But we're going to go ahead and jump into the second video and really focus on this one because this one is a little weird. Before we jump into this next one, give me 10 seconds. I want to say thank you so much to all the people that bought the ebook. You guys are helping out this channel so much. Let's go ahead and jump into this one. So now that we saw the video and what happened, this is going to be one of those situations where it's like, you know, this sucks. It shouldn't have happened. You shouldn't have clipped my mirror. Um, but you definitely, as motorcycle riders, should not be punching people's mirrors. And then if you're going to do that, at least look forward and go where you're supposed to be going. So at the end of the day, don't punch mirrors and keep looking forward and make sure you have a good 360 cone of uh, space cushion and awareness. So right here, it looks like he's going to try to get into his own lane. So right now, it's not lane filtering. This is not lane filtering, not lane splitting. This is his lane 
lane. So he's in his lane. He's in lane position uh, three in the United States. I'm sure this is probably lane position one in this country. But either way, you're off to the side close to the line. So right here, we're going to be moving forward a little bit. And we get clipped by this van. Now, this van uh, came into our lane and took our lane. Now, this is something that is very dangerous. And it's not something that I experience quite a bit. But I know this is something that lane filtering people experience quite a bit. Now, uh, how you react to that, it could either be, oh, crap, oh, crap, I need to stabilize and then make sure that I don't crash, or you can have a bunch of anger. Now, you can have anger in both, but which one's going to dictate how you ride, the anger or safety? So make sure safety dictates how you ride. So he smacks that mirror, um, and I don't agree with that because now you just took your left hand off the primary controls, which is going to be your clutch and then your handlebars and then whatever it is that you can utilize with your thumb on the control panel. So I would not be doing that. I'd be hyper focused of, oh, crap, somebody's really close to me. They hit my mirror. I need to get out of this situation. So I would either speed up or decelerate. So to allow this person to go. Um, or move off into this next lane right here. But overall, this situation is just not good. So he's going to hit that, not pay attention. And guess what? When you're not paying attention, things will still get in front of you in your path of travel, and you're going to hit that person. So he hits them, and then that causes, and this is exactly what I'm talking about when, when you take your hand off that handlebar and it, when you're getting clipped and you're wanting to do something like smack a mirror, is that it puts you in a bad spot, and he hits that, that vehicle to the right, and it's going to cause him to lose control and then dump the bike. Now, he is a learner. He has a learner's license. Um, so hopefully he's not doing this anymore. But that's going to cause a crash. Now, that van is going to take off in this video. If you want to watch the full video, all these links are going to be in the description. Um, but when you're on the ground in a flow of traffic, there's a good chance that you're going to get hit and your gear's not going to help you out here. So let's not do that. Let's make sure that we are focused on, you know, riding safely, being situationally aware. And then it's this whole 360 cone. We need to really be focused on what's behind us, what's in front of us, what's side to side, especially if we're going to be in high traffic. So the lessons that we can take from these two videos is that we need to be looking side to side behind us and also being situationally aware up front. We need to be paying attention, zone in, not zone out. And then if we're going to be lane filtering, guys, we're not supposed to be in white or yellow stage when we're lane filtering and lane filtering we need to be orange stage being very ready to go into red stage where we do some type of emergency maneuver and never go into brown stage which is there's supposed to be an emergency maneuver happening but we just completely fail at it like in the second video so the emergency in the second video person got next to you actually clipped you that should be definite red stage and it should be some type of emergency braking maybe even emergency acceleration but get out of that situation these vehicles have the law of tonnage with them and that what that means is that it doesn't matter what happens is that if they hit you they're going to win so guys pay extra careful attention to these types of things so guys let me know in the comments if you like the double feature if you want to see two different crashes uh let me know and i'll uh try my best to explain what happened and how we can prevent it for ourselves but go ahead and click the links to the left of your screen to watch future videos with that said I hope you guys ride safe be safe and i'll be seeing you around